Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Green Animate. As you already know, the format of this session uh, where uh, we have conversations with people from different fields and different backgrounds on the ideas of sustainability, social development, and environmental enrichment. Today, our guest is uh, from this organization called the Robin Hood Army, as you can see from the mask, uh, Mr. Joydeep. Uh, he has been involved in uh, different activities all around Shillong. So uh, thank you Joydeep so yes, much for uh, being a part of this session. Uh, while we go ahead uh, on this, uh, can you please let me know a little bit about uh, the Robin Hood Army? Robin Hood Army, actually uh, Robin Hood Army was formed by Neil Ghosh actually. Okay. So after that he has created some of the chapters. So in the Shillong it is a one chapter we are going on and mainly we are basically concentration on the food distribution. What the food get wasted, we just collect that surplus food from the different sources and we distribute among the various sources. So that's the main thing. We did mainly concentration on, on the food and our uh, mainly is our zero funded organization. So we don't have any kind of money involved in monetary fund and all these things. So we are totally with the food and uh, like tomorrow will be the blood donations related with everything. Amazing, amazing. So basically that goes with the uh, entire the concept of, uh, of what Robin Hood was doing for the upliftment, upliftment and the uh, benefit of the poor. Uh, so basically uh, what you do is you take uh, food and you distribute it to uh, these uh, the needy. Yeah, of course, the needy people. Needy people. But where does this food come from? See, we have uh, various contexts. Like we, uh, what this, uh, we context the hotel, what the food is extra. Uh, they made it extra. So some of the hotels we have contact, they made it extra for the distribution. Okay, okay. And uh, few hotels, they, what the food is uh, left over, we used to collect late, late night. Mm -hmm. And we used to collect all the, uh, from everywhere. And directly we come to the TV or anywhere where the needy people are there, we used to distribute around them. Excellent. And uh, I mean, th that's actually an amazing concept where a lot of food uh, gets wasted uh, in general. Uh, so what you're doing is basically to minimize, first of all, the wastage of food. Yeah, At the same true. time, uh, you're also using that, channelizing that uh, for benefit of the people. But how do you manage this? Because, you know, uh, different places are there. You know, there are many uh, restaurants and uh, many hotels. So, you know, getting the food from there and then delivering it to people who need them, that becomes one of the, the logistics. It seems to be uh, an uphill task, but how do your organization, how do you manage it? Actually, we have uh, various members in our, in our Robin Hood Army Shalom. So, we used to distribute the timing mm -hmm. and the hotels, like idea, just limo side someone will do, mm -hmm. PV side I will do. Okay. So, we used to distribute among ourselves. That uh, Monday to uh, Monday he will be doing, Tuesday he will be doing. That's the way we used to go. With. And uh, Shillong is a small city, so we, we used to manage it. It's not like other part, the other part, they have nearly thousands of members. But in Shillong, there is the last member, but we can manage it. And we used to manage it every time. And this, all these things happens uh, with uh, zero funds? Yes, yeah, zero funding. How do we manage this? <laughs> like, you know, like, uh, I, 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 I actually find it to be a very difficult concept where even uh, for us, like, and I find, you know, when there is no inflow of funds and when you have to do entire thing with your own uh, funds in, in, from your own source, you know, first of all, getting the necessary funds. Uh, sorry. So uh, getting the necessary funds and, uh, you know, ensuring that what needs to be done gets done uh, is one of the biggest hurdles for organizations uh, like Robin Hood Army. How do you manage, how do you cope up with that? problem uh, like I said we have the various numbers no? mm -hmm. uh, in our group so what when we used to divide the right we used to say say when you come to the Robin Hood army it is a special organization and it is a zero funded organization we are not giving you a single penny mm -hmm. if I say to the all the volunteers are you ready for the food drive because we are here to do the food drive we have to spend the money and go the and bring the food after that, we used to distribute them. So it is, uh, that way it goes. Uh, okay. Sometimes we used to face the, sometimes monetary fund, we face the problem. But uh, we used to collect among us and we used to do the program on our own. 
Wow, that's amazing. I've also seen uh, in, when I was following uh, your profile uh, or for the organization, I've been seeing that there's a lot of activities going on with schools as well, uh, where you're supplying uh, study materials. Uh, you're supplying study materials uh, to school children. Uh, so that's another chapter or is there a part of the same initiative? Uh, that it is a, another chapter like we have uh, Robinhood Academy. Mm -hmm. We used to, in the academy, we all do the academic program, like school, related with the school children, they are playing, they are uh, study, everything. To include in that program, we used to, we have the distribution, like uh, we have done this program, like uh, with the students, we have uh, done the admission for the students, some of the needy students. So we are just, uh, this, was, uh, this was our second year that we have done, and um, more, and next year we will see if we can do it more. So we are planning for that. Let's see. No, that's excellent. That's really good. Uh, you know, that's an initiative that is required uh, in more places, uh, in my opinion. Uh, but this time, like, you know, I, I, I want to ask you something on a more personal uh, level. As an individual, why have you joined uh, this initiative? Why do you think this is important? Uh, like, you know, for others to be, uh, uh, you know, to follow, or why? What motivates you towards this job? See, uh, mainly what's motivated before, uh, when I have seen my father and father plus grandfather, when I was small, from, there, from then I have learned. And what I have seen, if you donate, they, it will, it, if you donate, you get the many blessings from them. Not only the blessing, you, you can uh, make them smile actually. Uh, when we go for the donation and all these things, sir. Mm -hmm. When we see the smile of them on their faces, it's a big thing for us. Absolutely. It is not like that we are not getting a single penny from anywhere. So why should from my heart I want to do this social activities and I like it really. Whenever there is to be a call or anything, we used to go and see what is the matter. If matter is in our boundary, then we'll do, do it. Otherwise we used to contact the government, we used to contact and we used to do the but uh, in the Robin Hood Army, really, I like it because it is a zero funding organization and uh, we don't have any like boundaries. You can cross your boundaries and do it, whatever you like, but it should be in the zero funding. That's the thing. That's the a, that's a bottom line of it. Uh, but at the same time, it is based on initiativeness and yeah, sure, uh, sure, the, sure. the motivation of every individual. So everyone so, is equally involved and like you know, highly motivated towards the same Yes, yes, uh, every member's end goal. Yes. That's, that's amazing because uh, to get a good team, it's another big problem because to have a common set of a mindset uh, towards uh, the common objectives of welfare, that's an yes. important thing. Uh, it's, it's really good that you know your organization has been able to maintain this uh, for such a long time. How long has it been, by the way? In the Shillong, it has been three years. Three years. But uh, when it was formed, it was uh, totally it was uh, six years. But in Shillong, it is formed in three years. Wow, that's that's good. That's good. And all over the countries we uh, we are running means in the ten countries, the Robin Hood Army is mm -hmm. serving, and India as well. Okay. So it's basically a multinational uh, yeah, initiative. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that is it. Which other countries are there? Like you know, just just curious. Indonesia, Pakistan, mm -hmm. Afghanistan. Uh, Sri Lanka, Maldives. Okay, that's wow, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, thank you. Uh, what do you think this initiative would be? You know, going towards like you know, what is the end result of this? Uh, probably five years or ten years down the line. Where do you see uh, Green Army to be? So the Robin Hood Army. My bad. Uh, where do you see Robin Hood Army to be in the next five or ten years? I want that Robin Hood. Uh, see in India, what happens? We see the uh, our the beggars, not the beggars, the needy people somewhere. Mm -hmm. We want that needy. We should not say the needy people. Actually, we want that program should be finished. And what we are serving in the road and everything, I don't want that one. In ten years, we want that no. The food should be provided, but not by the government, but by everyone. The food should be provided to them, and they can do their work because what they are doing, like they are doing any work. Mm -hmm. They are doing for their feeding. Mm -hmm. Anyone, everyone who is do, doing for that. But I don't want that. But I want that 
they should be doing our work there and over the government or plus revenue army every organization should provide them food or that's the thing that's that's really good uh, basically uh, in a way uh, what you're trying to say is uh, for poverty itself or uh, food safety basically yes, uh, food safety. that's basically the term uh, food safety to increase and there should be food safety for everybody so that yes, at yes, least yes. everyone gets the basic meals every day that's amazing because uh, from that becomes a bigger uh, one of the biggest obstacles to social development if there is no food uh, people cannot think about sustainability so that is where i think is where your work like in you know, a meets with the overall agenda of sustainability and i think uh, this activity is also within the sdg the social development uh, goals uh, or social determinants of health uh, that that is uh, the 11 sdgs that has been developed by the world health organization uh, amazingly you know uh, important part but uh, do you also collaborate with other organization is there any collaboration in that end uh, where you are working probably with uh, industries or uh, mass produ- producers of food or agricultural uh, agricultural companies In Shillong, uh, it is not like that. But uh, outside Shillong, they are they used to collaborate mm-hmm. with the different uh, industries and all those things. But in Shillong, we don't collaborate. Actually, we don't collaborate. Or they don't collaborate with us uh, because in Shillong, the only I mean, really, it is a small unit for that reason. And as you know, right now everybody wants an advertisement, so we are not doing ad- any advertisement. That's the main thing. And I want to say to everyone, what Ravanut Army is doing that we don't want wastage of food. Actually, in the every house you will see there will be wastage of food. I don't want. I just want to say everyone, please don't waste the food. You just collect the food, and you can feed anyone. If we can do it like this, there will be no poverty and and beggar and all these things. Just in case, I mean, if there is anybody uh, from Shillong who might be watching this video. if they want to collaborate with you uh, in terms of like you know, probably uh, sharing a part of the food or like you know uh, being a part of that system how can they be a part of this movement they directly can contact us mm-hmm. that robin or chief long they can mail us they can contact us in their fb page uh, or directly they, they can contact us like uh, in our contact number and uh, they can be a part there is no issue like that to go and go and there Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, so, guys, uh, as you understand, uh, that if you if you are in Shillong and uh, you know anybody uh, who has excess of food, uh, probably restaurants or probably some events uh, where you know there is a possibility of a, a large amount of food to be uh, to be made, and some might be going to waste. So, uh, you can what you can do is to prevent the wastage of food and to help somebody who might be benefited from that food. You can contact them. Uh, you would find the contact list or uh, contact information along with the video so you can contact them and they would come down to your premises collect the food and then give it to uh, uh, the poor or the needy people uh, well thank you so much uh, uh, thank you for so uh, taking part of this session uh, and uh, guys if you uh, like what we do please do share subscribe and uh, let your friends and your family know and uh, let us uh, know what we can do better for the next session Uh thank you so much thank, thank you, you again uh, for your time and all of you have a good day bye bye thank you